What are embeddings? Embeddings are mathematical representations of things like words, images, or even entire documents. And these are expressed as an array of numbers or vectors in a multidimensional space. Embeddings are commonly used to capture the meaning or characteristics of objects in a way that machines can easily process. Embeddings are expressed as a series of floats in an array. The number of these floats is determined by the number of dimensions. This can be any size, but you often see dimensions of 256, 1536, or sometimes higher. Using embeddings, objects with similar meanings or characteristics are represented by vectors that are close to each other in this multidimensional space. For example, dog, animal, and pet are close to each other, and words like hedge fund are further away. So what can you do with embeddings? Well, you may be familiar with the most popular use today, powering apps like ChatGPT and the large language models behind it. Large language models work on the principle of predicting the next word in a sequence. And that sequence is derived from the proximity of the embeddings of words in a vector space. Vectors are also really useful for building things like recommendation engines. You can generate vectors on items in a product catalog and customers and their purchase history and then using an algorithm called alternating least squares, calculate the propensity for a user to purchase specific products. Another use case is with images. Similar to words, embeddings can be used to represent visual features of images, making them useful for tasks like image search. So just like earlier where we had a graph of words like dog, cat, animal, and pet, you can use images of these same things and they will also be in close proximity to each other as well. Where you may have seen them most frequently used, however, is doing vector searches when building things like RAG pattern applications. The benefit here is you're searching based upon the meaning or semantics instead of having to do an exact word match. This is a much better way of searching for data. And because you can apply these techniques to words, images, and even audio, the flexibility to what you can achieve as a developer is enormous. To learn more about embeddings or to see examples on how to use them, visit our samples gallery for links to documentation, videos, and samples on GitHub.